comes at school, each distinguished guest always finished a speech with these words that I love best. They'd say, we might have made a mess of things, but we're ready to take a rest and leave the future in your hands. I've been around a bit and you can take it from me. You're at the very finest, greatest university. And Australia, Jack, is still the best place to raise a family. And the future is in your hands. Of course, there's no money for research, but then I'm sure we all agree. A missile base is more practical than a tower of ivory. You can't equip a bigger army and equip a library and keep the future in your hands. Now, Mr. Ed Clark has just come back from the USA, where he told him how glad we are for every dollar that comes our way. We're glad they've claimed us and renamed us New California, a great future is in our hands. The burnt children of Vietnam, oh, we would dearly love to see, flown here to our hospitals for plastic surgery. On the other hand, we can't afford any misplaced sympathy with a future that's in our hands. Of course, you might be in the ballot when you finish your degree. But then gambling comes so natural in this lucky country. And I know you'll make this sacrifice to keep Vietnam free, to keep the future in your hands. If you spend too much time reading books, you'll get so far behind. Education today has got to be visualized and streamlined. So a subscription to Life Australia will build just the frame of mind for the future that